Ooh, yeah. Hey, how's it going, ladies and gentlemen? How are you on this Friday, January the 11th, 2018? Welcome to another episode of Talking Trends. We are your hosts. I go by the name of TK, and this is... I have no name. Fair enough. <laughs> but if you want to call me something, Tony. There you go. Or if you can think of something worse to call me. Do that. I'm into that. <laughs> uh, if this is your first time tuning into the show, myself and Tony find interesting articles from across the globe, and we bring them to the comforts of your home or wherever you may be watching or listening to this podcast, and uh, thank you for doing so. We thank you from the bottom of our cold black hearts. Yes. Uh, and also, unlike a lot of podcasts and other things, this is done live. <laughs> Let's not talk about those other things. No, other things. This is done live, yeah, guys. It's not important. So everybody in the chat right now, yes, I'm talking to you and you. We want to hear your likes, your dislikes, your comments, and opinions on the stories that we're going to be covering on today's show. And those stories sound a little something like this. Mm -hmm. Costco revealing the new 27-pound <laughs> mac and cheese. I know you're excited about this. Very. Just a, oh, just a big bucket. <laughs> <laughs> just a trough. It's amazing. Oh, God. Uh, more of a local story. The taxi driver who did some despicable things. Yeah. Uh, it's back in court. Getting worse. Getting worse. And you have some more details on that. Oh, we do. All the disgusting details. On the second half of the show, you may remember this story. We've covered a bunch of times where a lady mm -hmm. <clears throat> was, well, I'm going to put a lot of things in quotes <laughs> because it's very interesting now. Yeah. Uh, Taking the turn. Her, her car uh, broke down on the highway and a homeless man <laughs> gave him <laughs> his last $20. If, if you're just listening, he's air quoting everything right now, and you're not seeing this. Everything is air quotes. Air quotes right on the whole statement. And you'll see why. Yeah. Uh, and finally, the hard hitting news that we all really want to know. Listen. <laughs> Tim Hortons is unveiling a new Timbit and what? New donuts? Some new donuts, baby. Some new flavors. It's time. This is good. Oh, it is going to be good. I'm going to get them all. <laughs> We're going to bring them in here when they're released. Oh, boy. And put our faces right in. I like it's it. It's great. Uh, first off, guys out there, how was your week? How's your Friday looking up? It was a little cold today. Hopefully, you stayed warm somewhere, snuggled down. We're wearing a winter coat, but if that's not your thing, you like your nipples hard and, you know, <laughs> standing outside, that's cool, too. Jesus. Where's your winter coat, but you're always wearing it on the show. It, it's right here. Yeah. It's right. not It's it's not too, it's an uh, arm length away. It's not cold in here. That's it's nipple, very warm. It's nipply outside. Very. We were out there doing some business meetings, and we had to walk around for a little bit. Yes. <laughs> it was not warm outside. Yes. Man, but we're not in New Brunswick. We're not in Miramichi. Oh, we're, damn... They got 40 plus centimeters of snow, people. So feel very lucky today that you live in Halifax, if you do. Yes. Oh, it could be man. much worse. Can you imagine? No. Oh, come on. I don't like shoveling. No one out there. Nobody wants that. Like shoveling. Nobody wants that. If whoever says they like shoveling, they are a liar. The skiers rejoice. Yes. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. Uh, I was going to say how your day was, but I mean, I was with you for a good portion of it today. And <laughs> you saw way too much. Yeah. And here I am back again. Uh, Kimberly says it's 11 degrees in B.C. Oh. So uh, we hate BC right now. That's bad. Shut up. Yeah. But anyway, yeah, we we did a lot of things today. Yeah. We took a little break because we had to get away from each other for a second. Yes. And we're back again. Yeah. So bad. what can you do? I don't know. But we're not going to see each other on the weekend. We see we miss each other on the weekend. <laughs> yeah. So we got to get it in right now. Baby. Get it all in. And of in, course, it'll, it'll be we'll be back on Monday. So we'll get all the emotions yeah. out today. Uh, and then we'll, and we'll rejoice on Monday. We'll be fine. We'll come together. We'll talk about our weekend. Yeah. Justin says, gorgeous and sunny in Ottawa. Now we're just getting weather reports from all across <laughs> the country. BC, Ottawa, and now on the East Coast. We're covered now, people. Thank you guys for your input. Uh, I didn't know we had a bunch of meteorologists in the house today. It's good, but we but appreciate it. Yeah. We love that. We love that. The talking trans meteorologists. We're going to have to do a weather call every single time. Yeah. Time for the weather call from yeah. coast to coast. From what's, across the what's globe. the weather in your area? Exactly. Uh, yeah. Again, guys, thank you for tuning in to the show. Uh, we're going to bang through this. Bang it up. Bang it up. Yeah. Take down the pants of a bang and dope through the show. <laughs> Get it in. Uh, first off, ladies and gentlemen, mm -hmm. who doesn't love a good serving of macaroni and cheese? I mean, I like it. Yeah. Doesn't always like us. Afterwards. Afterwards, but when you're chowing it down. It's delicious. Oh, so delicious. Nothing better. You tell me I don't something. know how delicious this one would be. <laughs> yeah. You tell me something more delicious than mac and cheese. Warm mac and cheese. Nothing. Maybe a warm Zero. apple pie. Anyway. Maybe a warm apple pie. Yeah. Anyways, um, comfort food lovers rejoice. Mm -hmm. Why, you may say, guys? Well, Costco's selling a 27-pound bucket <laughs> of mac and cheese. <laughs> Don't worry. The shelf life 
20 years on this bad boy. Dude, what? <laughs> so Costco is offering a 27 bucket, 27 pound bucket mac of cheese, uh, meaning that you'll never have to eat anything else again in your life. Ever. Ever. You're good. This is it. You're covered. Uh, the enormous container is 180 servings. Oh, my God. Of <laughs> macaroni and cheese. It's selling for $90, $89.99. No, that's a good deal. Uh, but the you, you may yeah, that's a good deal. But some say, hey, that that seems kind of steep for me. Okay. But when you break it down, okay, it's fifty cents per serving. I mean, can't go wrong with that. No, no. So you have anyway, plans. Yeah. So, <laughs> but uh, but don't feel like uh, this will lock you into a diet only if, uh, of mac and cheese for the next couple months. Again, this has a, a shelf life of twenty years. In fact, it's good for so long that Costco listed it under. All emergency foods <laughs> on the website. So mac and cheese, this nice. mac, this twenty-seven pound bucket right. of mac and cheese yeah. is now under the all emergency food <laughs> uh, uh, section in the website. Wow! So doesn't that stuff have to be refrigerated, man? Like I'm not sure how it works. I'm tempted to go out and buy I'm a very bucket. Con- I'm very concerned. Cafeterias because- around the world rejoice. <laughs> Oh, the school, school cafeteria, prisons. Yeah, prison. Now you can have mac and cheese in prison. I don't know if that was it was an option before, but at this price point, I'm going to jail. Prisons are. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> sign me up. I'm no, going to jail. The problem is every meal is going to be mac and cheese in there. <laughs> Breakfast, lunch, di- everything is going to be mac and cheese. I'm a little concerned. I don't think there's any cheese. Probably not in it. It would with the 20 year shelf life. Probably not. I'm assuming not. Uh, mm-hmm. Which doesn't make it. Real mac and cheese. You know, it's a little difficult to make real mac and cheese. I, I did it last week. I love making mac and cheese. I, I don't mind making it. It's a bit of a. It is a process. It's so good. Yeah, but like when, when you, it's real. Yeah, when you're oh, when it's all said gross. and done, it is worth it. It is. So this probably has no cheese. I'm assuming because it's probably not refer. So I would be very worried if you went to a restaurant and ordered mac and cheese. You may be eating this. It's Costco. Which probably has zero percent cheese. Yeah, I mean that could be a concern of yours. I'm interested to see the 20 year shelf life. Is it after like if you don't open it 20 years, or can you crack this puppy open? I don't think a, you can open it. Yeah. No, no, no. Okay. I think it sits there for 20 years if you haven't touched it. And how long does it last <laughs> once you open it? Yeah. How much? You got to eat it pretty fast, probably. <laughs> oh, oh can you, dude, your insides would I'm, be like, oh, I God. Have a, I have a feeling we're going to see somebody on YouTube a try, and, try and go through 27 Jeff, pounds. Justin says, blows my mind that you can now buy a larger amount of mac and cheese than a bag of road salt. That's a good, yeah. <laughs> that's a good one. Yeah. Uh, Kerry says, I wonder if it uh, if it's as good as KD, though. I bet it takes that uh, shitty white creamy mac and cheese. It's probably not that cheesy mac and cheese that we all love from mm. KD. That's some good mac and cheese. I don't know, man. I will say Costco, the Kirkland brand, yeah. has some pretty good food items. I'm not going to front okay. on them. All right. I, I've had their hot dogs in the past. I, we I've all have. Their, I, I had their we salads. I've had their, their wings. The, they're pretty damn delicious. I tell you, man, the little cafeteria, they got some they get that Montreal smoked meat sandwiches. Okay. Bloody. <laughs> yeah. It's all right. <laughs> I don't know what it is about the cafeteria, that little food court. They're doing it right. And the ice cream? It's super cheap. It's, Forget it's, it. It's, man, it's yeah. super cheap on top of it. Listen, I've been tempted to buy a bucket of chicken and go to the theaters immediately. Right after. <laughs> you have not. I have too. Well, how are you gonna get it in there? You just walk in with it? I walk in with all kinds of food, contraband, as, as it were. Did they in, see into you the walking theaters. in? I don't care half the time. I can walk in with a knapsack. No, but it's different, they don't, though. I, I can have a hundred things in there. They're not going to excuse me, sir, what's in the backpack? No, but you're black. They ain't messing with you. They don't want to no, be in the would, news. No, they would mess with me. <laughs> no, they this. don't want to be on the news. Because <laughs> next thing you know, you got a GoFundMe page. Yeah. You got $50,000. You can buy all the cheese you want. It's a whole thing. New owner of Cineflex. I walk in there. Listen, I got to pay taxes on. It's a whole you thing. You never do the Dollarama thing? You never go to a spot before and get your snacks? I did when I was like younger a little bit, but... It's like now, if I get, like I said before, if you want to get busted, get busted for something big. I don't want to get busted for like. I, they're not going to turn you around. Listen, I've definitely what if walked. They get, what if they like escort you out of the whole pl- in front of everybody? I don't think everybody? they can because I think it's been addressed before. It's definitely okay. been addressed. Oh. I don't think they can stop you from bringing in. Listen, I went in and brought Burger King before. What did the people around you? They must just, you're sitting there eating a hamburger. What do they say to you? <laughs> they say, good, 
Good on you, sir. You're crazy. Can I have a bite? I, if I see you there and you're unwrapping a <laughs> big Whopper, I'm like, what they call in me, the they, Well, they don't call me Wop Daddy for nothing. Yeah, Wop Daddy. <laughs> Take it out in the theater. And that will get you thrown out. Well, I, I've I definitely know. been next to people because there's the A&W now outside of Park Lane. Right. People walk in with fries Bring and burger. In. I guess. Yeah. But the, I think it's, a, it's because I don't think in that theater, though, they sell a competition food, right? Like, no. like I know in Bears well, Lake, you they, can buy, like, everything. Yeah. So you but can't I mean, bring they, in they what do, they sell. They have their Skittles and chocolate bars, but you know what? I mean, upstairs at Park Lane, you still can go to the dollar store and get, God damn. That's true. That's People what I always do, because I, I, I sometimes refuse to pay those uh, ludicrous prices. Buddy, the movie itself costs a fortune. Yeah. I got to take out a loan. Get a popcorn is like 15 but Forget about it, man. Anyway. Sticking it to the man as usual. Yes. Nice. Uh, speaking I enjoy of that. Sticking it to the man. Um, <laughs> this guy. Sticking it to somewhere. Um, <laughs> very, oh, boy. Um, oh, man. This guy is back in court. I He's mean. He's a cab driver, and uh, there was an assault that took place, I believe, last year. It's been a problem here for a little bit in Halifax, um, and I actually, was it Tuesday? Uh, I spoke to a bunch of cab drivers because I play soccer with them every Tuesday. Oh, okay. And I got their opinion on the whole thing, too. It was very interesting to hear from their point of view. Uh, so the high-profile uh, retrial of the Halifax uh, taxi driver accused of sexually assaulting a female passenger has been adjourned after hearing testimony from the complaint uh, and from the police officer who found her unconscious and almost naked in the cab. So a situation where she was uh, very drunk. He obviously was not because he was driving cab, and that's when the assault took place. Mm-hmm. Um, Bassam Al Wari, uh, his trial scheduled to continue Friday uh, in Halifax Provincial Court, but uh, there were concerns raised about the translation of testimony from the forensic biological bi- biologist biologist, biologist into Arabic. Uh, Judge Anne Marie Simmons said uh, said that it's imperative that uh, he understands all of his testimony, and so that the trial was adjourned uh, until April fifteenth. And you have a beef with these situations where these take so long. Here's an adjournment for another three months, right? <laughs> So it takes so much longer. So apparently, um, and this recently, again, there was two more things happening as well. Two more assaults that just happened, huh. I think, last week. So they're all, you're going to watch. They're going to come in news as well. Okay. Uh, this particular taxi driver is in his early 40s facing charges of sexual assault after an acquittal was overturned last January, which was good. That was a big, there was a lot of rejoicing around that. Yeah. Police constable testified that she uh, found the woman, now in her late 20s, passed out and almost naked in the back of a taxi and the driver between her legs. So Jesus, uh, taking advantage of situations. This was something where she was. Uh, she was remember. She remembers the last thing she remembers. She was standing outside the bar downtown, Boomers Lounge. Uh, <laughs> well, there's your first problem. <laughs> <and> her, yeah. <laughs> you don't want to be there. Uh, and the next Buddy, memory, they're serving the worst drinks, the cheapest drinks. Dude, she was gone because yeah. she had that memory standing outside the bar. That the next it. memory she had was she was in the hospital oh, man. with the two nurses and officers. So from that, the whole oh. thing is a blank. That's, that's called oblivion. That's scary. Very, very scary. I've had a couple of those nights where I'm like, how the hell did I get home? Thankfully, yeah, I'm home. I mean, Thankfully, I'm home and not, you know, waking up in a hospital and there's a doctor and a police officer standing over me like, Listen, this is what happened to you. But it slowly comes back to you the next day. You're kind of like, how did I get... Oh, okay. Sometimes... No, listen. <laughs> I will <laughs> refute that the time. because I... Uh, for one of my friend's bachelor parties... Oh, God. It wasn't crazy. Yeah. All right? Well... But the amount of alcohol that was consumed... Right. I was... I'm sure there's a couple people out there who may... Uh, <laughs> side with this story if you will Easy. because there's there's times where you need to ask other friends and and piece the puzzle together to sure. get the full picture because alone you're like what did i do right i remember going here but how did i get here then right. you gotta ask your friend and they're like oh yeah we did this you're like oh, okay now the puzzle's coming together Slowly. so yes. there's times where i i can't remember the whole picture I've had I, a need, couple. I, I need aid from others right it's a couple like, nights uh, in vegas like that yeah it's kind of huh? like an episode of csi yeah, you got to put pieces all the, together, yeah. you know, uh, in the decision of the first trial, quote, clearly uh, uh, a drunk can consent. Um, however, uh, debating over the intoxication and capacity to the consent of sex. So this was the debate I had with some of the taxi drivers was that the main one of the main problems was that he was sober and mm. she was drunk. Yeah. Right. Because that person is is not capable of making a decision. Now, he's a taxi driver. Obviously, he's driving. Yeah. But the issue would become is if they were both drinking. <laughs> The sex is now consensual because they were both drinking. 
Mm. Right? The fact that he was sober and she was not, that's where the problem came into play. Even that's an arg- that's argumentable as well if two people are drunk and, you know, one and that's again a very gray area. It's a very gray area. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, you don't want to ever put yourself in that. Just don't put yourself in that position. Be very clear. Get the person to write it down on a piece of paper. Send a text message. Get them to sign a court document, of course. <laughs> yeah. Then all, you may proceed. The more proof, the more signatures, the more, uh, yeah, the better. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the other thing is, too, there's some sort of trust in the taxi driver to the safety of his passengers. Yeah. And again, so that's a whole other thing, obviously. I but. can't imagine doing that to, to somebody. That's a profession. Yeah. I mean, oh, I'm messing God. up my seats. <laughs> I'm just kidding. This is bad. Only stipulation. Yeah, it is. This is leather seat. We digress, but we. <laughs> so anyway, we'll see what happens. April fifteenth is going to happen, and uh, we'll see what happens with Hope, this. Individual. Hopefully, yeah. There's some time served. Some justice served. Because I remember when this was first coming out, and they were talking about the Dude. panties and all this other whole stuff. Thing. I was like, okay, this guy's definitely. It guilty. was a whole thing. Yeah. Uh, and this is a whole other thing. Is our roll call for today? Guilty for tuning in. You guys are guilty for looking at. <laughs> These two yahoos right here. <laughs> Who's in the house today? We have the roll call. Amy's in the house. Megan's in the house. <gasps> Carrie's in the house. Justin shouts out, shouts out. Uh, we also have Kim all the way from BC. Anna's in the house. Bernie in the house as well. We have Mar. We have, uh, who else we got? Timothy, uh, Emily, Jonathan. Ah, Q in the house. <laughs> uh, and we also have Anna. Thank you, guys. If we're missing anybody, we apologize. I don't think I did. But okay. if someone pops in, I'll, I'll take a look at you. sometimes it's different on my browser, but I don't oh. have my browser up because I'm busy working the show guys that's why we need an intern at some point i know when we have some sort of credentials we don't have them yet but yes you know but at some point yeah maybe uh but yeah thank you guys for tuning in yet again you can be doing anything on a friday evening ish but you're here with us much appreciated if you haven't liked our facebook page please head over there we talk at trends and find us on itunes uh, talking trends give us a little rating <laughs> all that all that if you don't mind if you don't mind now on the second half of the show guys you, you, we've talked about this Interesting oh, mixed web of a, so a story. I'm so disgusted. Uh, by so story. a homeless man has finally uh, yeah. been arrested. He was at the center of the $400,000 GoFundMe uh, scandal. Huge. Huge amount of money. We reported on this like several times, too. This is definitely last, this is last year. So yeah. anyway, so the homeless man at the center of the GoFundMe scandal that raised more than $400,000 in his name has been arrested in Philadelphia, according to reports. Johnny Bob at 34, who allegedly conspired with former couple Kate McClure and Mark uh, Domenico, mm-hmm. have, uh, they created a heartwarming story that would inspire thousands of well-wishers to donate money to their cause was arrested Wednesday. Mm. So a New Jersey judge uh, issued a warrant for Bob to arrest when he failed to attend a mandatory court appearance in Burlington County, New Jersey. So uh, the Burlington County Prosecutor's Office will begin extradition proceedings to bring Bobbitt to New Jersey. Anyways, uh, McKiller and her boyfriend allegedly met the homeless man, Bobbitt, in a Philadelphia casino in 2017. (laughs) About one month before the ill-fated GoFundMe campaign was created in November of that year, claiming that Bobbitt, the homeless man, gave his last $20 to the lady whose Mm. car ran out of gas on a Philadelphia highway. Um, A likely story. (laughs) It's, I remember. And they took a picture of it. It was great. I remember at the time it came out, I was like, man, heartwarming. (laughs) Good on you, sir. We love that story. I love all homeless people. Give yeah. give all the homeless. I'll, I'll sleep with them all right now, just off this story. Straight out the gate. Let's, I'll just let's let do me this. do them. Let me just pop them right off. That's what's up. Boom. That's it. That's After that, real. That was real love. Not anymore. No. Because he conspired it, just and I don't trust you anymore. No. That's it. We don't trust the homeless. You messed I up. I was right all along. You. <laughs> <laughs> what did I say about the homeless? Yeah. I don't care for them. And here I was giving top to all of them. You were trusting them, trusting inside, them, bro. letting them inside of me. It was crazy. Yeah, <laughs> my little black heart don't look so black and, and naive anymore, does it now? I suppose not. Yeah. Shouts out to the real homeless people. Yeah, yeah, keeping it real. <laughs> not this dude. Yeah, not this guy. So no. anyway, basically, uh, these three cooked up this scam. They got strangers to give four hundred thousand dollars, which is hella impressive. That's actually not bad. <laughs> That's a good uh, but unfortunately. They got caught because of a little thing I like to call greed. Greed. Because what happened was um, when the started kind of when the money was going to be dispersed mm. to these to the individual because it's supposed to go to the homeless man. Yeah. For some reason, it went to the couple. 
Yeah. And the homeless guy was like, mm, I didn't receive all my money. What's yeah. going on here? And then they didn't relinquish or release the rest of the money. Mm. So he's like, I'm going to sue. And then when you do that, an investigation must occur. <laughs> and with that investigation, yeah. it, this is where we are today. So, ladies and gentlemen, they, they conjured this whole entire thing up. Unfortunately, puts another dirty mark on the GoFundMe site. Yeah. Because there's so many goddamn scams it on that sucks, site. bro. It really does. I remember when I was doing the, the, the uh, supplies for, to back to school, man. I was like, I got to be as transparent yeah. as goddamn possible i'm saving all receipts i'm scanning yeah. all receipts yeah, everything yeah. that i do yeah. i will <laughs> show you how many binders i bought uh yeah yeah be all up front with everything exactly because yeah. of because of this because because of these people it sucks it sucks because these people nobody you can't really trust these gold funds and some of them are legit and they're for good causes and people like this ruin it yeah it's unfortunate yeah just wants to know when you're fixing the sign well we're gonna fix it very soon it says monday Friday. It says consider yeah, Wednesday. Like your, a bonus. Yeah, just leave your hand up there, Tony. Yeah, just, does that work? Yeah, there you go. A little bit higher. All right. There we go. There we go. Fixed. It's Friday. It's Friday. Here, look. What's I'll your, what's I'll your I'll problem? Do a little point. Yeah. It's Friday. What's well, the beef, I, I have no idea what you're talking about. I'm gonna start a GoFundMe page. Yeah. I feel like this this story is a, a made for TV movie. I feel like there could be something there. Yeah. Maybe a comedy. At least. Right. Yeah. But then it's not really a good moral, ethical story to tell. Yeah, I don't know what the the whole point. If it would be, you know, just just watch where you give your money. Be more mindful. Yeah, but apparently you can't do it online anymore through these GoFundMe because you no. just don't know. I know that sucks. Yeah, it's unfortunate. God damn it! What they got to do? They got to rework it in a way where the money goes to GoFundMe, and obviously they have to fact check, which they, sucks. They, yeah, they should go through a whole process now. Unfortunately, this they is gotta... this is what you done. This is what you did. Right? <sighs> Even good deeds, man, doesn't. Doesn't work. I know. Doesn't work. And finally, ladies and gentlemen, on the more delicious side of things. Ooh, daddy. Everybody loves their Tims. Mm -hmm. I do mm -hmm. every now and then. Mm -hmm. I'm guilty of getting their coffees every every so often. A little sweet treat every once in a while. Don't talk to me about it. I'm doing well with my sweets. Yeah. Well, it's okay. You're staying on track. Yes. It's all good. Another couple of weeks. Well, Tim Hortons starting a new year mm. with an all-new lineup, baby, of tasty <laughs> treats and beverages. <laughs> an all-star lineup. <laughs> Including a very unusual and exciting flavor of Timbit. Oh boy. Uh, well, avocado. Guys, listen, I, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe they're going the healthy road. You I, don't know. I Tony brought this story up. I have no idea the flavors. So I'm, I'm just saying. I'm in the same boat as you. Maybe it's delicious and healthy. I'm I can't wait to hear how many flavors are there, do you know? There's a couple flavors for the uh Timbits and then some for the donuts. Okay. So I'm, yeah. I'm excited. Yeah. Okay. Um so celebrate Canada's love for the iconic double double. Tim Warren's officially introduced the Double Double Timbit. No. Double Double Coffee Timbit across the country. <laughs> nope, we are not kidding, people. It literally Tim Warren's coffee with double cream and double sugar packed into a bite-sized Timbit, baby. You know what? Shouts out to the, them using the, the, the donut hole and making money off the donut hole. Did they itself. create that situation? I don't goddamn know, but whoever I think they did, did, whoever did, God bless your heart because you are smarter <laughs> than thou. Dude, they didn't waste any of the donut. You're like, so we no, gotta put the hole. We gotta doing? put a hole in the donut. What are you doing? <laughs> There's a bunch of donut holes on the floor here. I have a feeling it was something like pretty <laughs> unbrilliant, where just like some guy, did, it fell off deep fryer, and he just and he's ate just it. like, holy he's, shit! He's like, dude, you eating the donuts? I ain't eating the donuts. Yeah. I mean, in the middle of the donut. He's it, like, wait a minute now. It's kind of like potato skins. Uh, exactly. Something that probably fell in a fryer, and the guy was like, you guys, don't waste Yo. nothing. Guys, I got it. Don't put some nothing. cheese on these and sell them for like fifteen bucks. <laughs> they love it. Anyways, uh, so, so the so double double. They flavor. think it's gonna be super popular. Uh, twenty nine cents each, or you can get ten for two thirty nine. Twenty nine cents for one. For one baby. I think that's crazily. Well, overpriced. you gotta add a little bit of you know. There's gotta be a little bit something to it. I think a a Timbit should be max ten cents. Oh. I think. What are you living in nineteen eighty two? That's. That's back in the day, Chief. Uh, but that's when they had plain and sugar covered. That's fine. But these are this is a double double, man. Oh, really? Okay, sorry. All right. Continue. They're also going along with the Timbits as well. They're going to be doing they're going to be doubling up on a few of the donuts too. So they'll have that one in a in a donut flavor. Oh, okay. Which should be pretty badass too. They're going to add uh, this one. I thought they already had for some reason a tiramisu donut. I thought for some what reason. What is tiramisu again? Tiramisu is uh, so it's coffee flavored tiramisu filling. So tiramisu filling. If you ever oh. had a tiramisu cake. 
It's like, uh, I forget where country it originates from, but top with a dusting of cocoa powder mm. and two Tim Hortons espresso beans right on top there with a twist on a go-to favorite treat. So mm. the espresso beans, uh, well, I don't know, it's going to wire you right up. Uh, those will be available for a buck fifty-nine for the donut. For the donut. Okay. I don't know, how much are donuts now? They're around that, aren't they now? Well, I mean, yeah. Dude. There's, there's a donut uh, cartel going on. I feel <laughs> I feel that we pay way too much for dough. They got us. I oh, know. yeah. Dude, do, the, the markup on dough? <laughs> it's crazy. About, you think the GoFundMe story was bad. This one's a this crooked. This is insane, yeah. Caramel fudge hot chocolate. How about that for a flavor? Oh, they got, so they got me as a, as a, as a Tim bit. Hot cool. chocolate yeah. over here. <laughs> caramel. With an added caramel fudge flavor, whipped <laughs> toppings, and caramel fudge drizzle. That's TK right All in your mouth. Over TK's yeah, body. Right in your mouth, dude. Uh, you no, bite in, no. and there's the flavor TK coming at you. All <laughs> in a little ball. All in your mouth. Yep. Uh, they're also going to have caramel fudge French vanilla. Jesus. And caramel fudge latte as well. You know what the problem is, I think, with this? Is that a problem? The order is going to be too long. That's a lot of words that were said there. Yeah, I mean, it's not going to be like, give me a chocolate dip. Can I get five of the double, the double Timbit, uh, uh, yeah, and uh, the, the caramel hot chocolate? Uh, can I get three of those? How many more? What's the math on that? You, what, we could get 17 more? Okay, I'll take four of the honey uh, glazed. Uh... Here's my essay on what I need to order, please. <laughs> Uh, hopefully they're going to do it through an app where it's like a quick pickup. That would be nice. Yeah. Uh, the other thing that isn't so nice, the price. The French vanilla donut, two ninety nine. Jesus. And the caramel fudge latte, three fifty nine dollars oh. for a donut. So Timmy's is getting, speaking of greed, they're getting a little greedy. I think that's a little too much. It's man. a little much. So watch out for those flavors. They are coming out this year. They didn't say what month? No, they said this year. They didn't say what month. They just said 2019. Okay. Uh, so I think the chocolate didn't they say. No, it's not. They didn't say what date exactly. But they will say in all Tim's locations across Canada, hmm. baby. So keep an eye out. Interesting. Yeah. So I mean, with, I'm not going to say I'm not going to try one or two. You guys, you got tidbits upstairs. No, that's not. I didn't bring those in the house. My mother brings them for the kids every day. But I like to have them. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> I don't. Uh, they're good. Yeah, they are delicious. Yeah. Comments. So, we'll indulge maybe a little bit. We got to try them when they get. I mean, it's only the Canadian thing to do. Yeah. Give them a try. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Helen says no cannabis flavor. There isn't one yet. It's not a weed flavor. The, <laughs> well, you eat these after you do weed. That's, that's when you smoke weed, then you get hungry. Yeah, it uh, make it makes you enjoy them more. I think that's the way it works. I yeah, don't know. I, I don't, don't know. Do Neither do I. So I don't know how it works either. My Isn't it Sexy Friday? Yes, it is sexy. Don't you see all the sexiness in front of you here? Speaking of sexiness, some good games on tonight. Is that sexy? No. It's really if you're not. into sports, I guess. If you're into the yeah, if you're into sports <laughs> and athletes. Man, I suppose you're just on the couch with your pants around your ankles. Is I watch <laughs> basketball. Jesus. Well, this is how I watch. Tar- Sorry, Tony. This is how I watch basketball. I don't know how you do. Yeah. All lathered up. Uh, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> with donuts all over. Yeah, yeah. What the hell? In the world just Tony, you got to try these uh, caramel uh, yeah, but... chocolate chip uh, dim- dimpits, bud. Oh, God. Anyways. Anyway, the Raptors are playing tonight. Yes. Should be a good game. They're playing the uh, Brooklyn Nets. I don't know what to think about that because Brooklyn has been playing very interesting lately. Brooklyn's uh, playing well, and I think they beat them last time. I think they beat Toronto last time. They are playing in uh, Toronto, so that is good. That I, kicks off at uh, 930, I believe. I give Toronto right. by... Seven, seven points. They're gonna it, win uh, by seven. It depends on who's on the bench. I don't, yeah, is Lowry out? Is is DeRozan under DeRozan? Yeah. Is uh, Leonard out? Is yeah. you know what I mean? So that's always a big factor. It's true. And also, there's a bunch of late games, but the big one, I guess, the late game uh, would be uh, the Lakers mm-hmm. playing the Jazz. That's a good one. That'd be decent. And then you got Golden State playing Chicago. The Bulls. Yeah. That's a late game too. Golden Golden State by forty. Listen, Golden State be slipping. Yeah, but Let Chicago, Chicago is like the second worst. Chicago team. sucks. They're yeah. pretty bad. And uh, and Helen also says basketball tomorrow. Yeah, if you're a local in Halifax, the Hurricanes are playing tomorrow. Oh yeah, we thought you thought about going to a game. I'm thinking right? about it. What so time's I mean, the game? I think it's seven o'clock. Hmm. So uh, could be an option. Maybe I'll. Do you like that option? Do you want to go see a game? Is that what you're getting at right now? Kinda. Who are they playing? Is the question. I don't remember who they're playing. Mm. But uh, that's always good fun. It's always a good Support time. Support local sports people. Exactly, I agree. Or local businesses. Yeah. It's all good in the hood. We're just uh, mm. slowly massaging it in. Mm. Yes, yeah, we're local. Excellent. Yeah. Uh, what's your plans this fine, fine, crispy evening? Uh, well, since I still have to do my insanity workout. Do, 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 do. Friday night fight round one. Um, 
Yeah, probably. Again, it's the dilemma. Oh. Do I get a donut? Eat? <laughs> Do I order 20 Timbits? And Do I get the 27-pound container of macaroni and cheese? Really then pound. work out? I really want to get that. <laughs> what if we I, fed I the homeless from that? Would that be good? That'd you want to put good. your hand yeah, in it? Yeah, I just want to put my hand in it. Dude, you're gross. And do the, one of those ASMR videos and just me swirl my hand in the, uh, the, the bucket. You know, we'd get a million views if we did that here. Probably about 10. I want to sit there and watch a basketball game with the bucket right in my lap and just eat it with a spoon. Or you don't do that already? Uh, yeah. Shit. <laughs> don't tell people. By the way, uh, the Hurricanes are playing Moncton tomorrow. That's what she said. Okay, cool. Thanks. So you got the gym tonight? Don't eat first. Last time you didn't eat first. I know. Don't do that. And you gave me that work, that pre-workout. Yeah, oh, that yeah. makes me freaking <laughs> jacked up for twenty four. Insane. So yeah, okay. I'll have some of that, and then I'll do the workout. Then I'll have my meal. That'll tide you over. It's only thirty minutes. I know. Ah, you'll it's get a, through it, and then you'll eat, you'll mow it down tonight, man. Go to Costco. Get a <laughs> yeah. bucket. Of food. Yeah, get a bucket. I'm for you. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what are you up to for this evening? I definitely need to eat. I'm starving. I'm about to eat my own body. Uh, oh, interesting. So right ah, now that's a mil that's a million view. Uh, you want to see that video? Mm. If I ever heard one. Yeah, mac and cheese all over it. Yeah. Uh, I gotta get something to eat, and it's cold outside. I don't want to be outside tonight. It's yeah. chilly, yeah. but I might go out for a little bit. There you, you know, go. I got a lot of cleaning. My house is filthy right now. It's absolutely disgusting, guys. It's really not it's good. Literally walking through a garbage field. It's great. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> it's like a... it's great Monday morning. Yeah. But we're Friday night. Yeah. There's oh, some things man. have been happening in the whole week. Yeah. My my house is like Grand Central with 11 and 12-year-olds that just come through like a tornado from the front door to the back. Okay, man. So that's what I'll be doing. Just clean it up. Uh, just clean it up. I don't, you yeah. know, what am I going to do? Look at me. That's true. <laughs> don't look true. at me. Yeah, don't sorry. look at me. Don't look at me, Please. guys. Whatever you do. Yeah, whatever you guys do, you should do it safe. We appreciate you guys jumping in today. Yes, we do. We uh, appreciate your time. Whenever you can join us, if you like the show, tell a friend, uh, share it on your feed, whatever you would like to do. No pressure. No pressure at all. Okay? No, no pressure no, no. at all. You, I don't, I don't want to give you a contract. You're, I'll look you're, at GoFundMe you're, you're in the, the friendly uh, <laughs> Talking Trends taxi. Where everything yeah. is consensual, <laughs> you're free Everybody's to leave. Safe. You're free to leave whenever you like. You're all <laughs> <laughs> free to join oh, us. We're gonna need a disclaimer at the bottom of this thing. <laughs> we didn't do anything bad. No, we can never have guests this, again, though. This is good. Yeah, we have a good wholesome show where people can come and go as they please. Not gonna find us on Tapia in the back seat. On want? Okay, maybe I should just stop. Yeah, they, you're going. Anyways, very um, <laughs> you guys have a lovely evening and whatever you get up to this uh, weekend. Enjoy. Yeah. Be safe. Don't get too loaded outside. Boomers. Don't do that. Call a friend. Get in a cab with a friend. Yes. And not by yourself. Yeah. Be careful. Goddamn. Anyways, guys, be careful. Thank you very much for tuning in <laughs> to another episode of Talking Trends. We will be back Monday. This day. And uh, we hope to see you there as well. Until then, we out. Peace out.